Okay, it's official. Mojang has been sold to Microsoft to the tune of $2.5 billion. Everything will be finalized by the end of the year. In Microsoft's public, very slick YouTube channel statement, on their website they're saying, gaming is the top activity across devices and we see great potential to continue to grow the Microsoft community and nurture the franchise. That's why we plan to continue making Minecraft available across all platforms, including iOS, Android, and PlayStation, in addition to Xbox and PC. Now here's the important part. The Microsoft community, that's us, is passionate and diverse, ranging across all ages and demographics. We respect the brand and independent spirit that has made Minecraft great and will carry on the tradition of innovation to move the franchise forward. Our investments in cloud, Xbox Live, and mobile technology will enable players to benefit from richer and faster worlds, more powerful development tools, and more opportunities to connect with the Minecraft community. Mojang posted a statement. Is the game going to change? Will we still be able to make videos, mods, awesome builds, and all the cool stuff we've created over the past few years? Answer. Minecraft will continue to evolve, just like it has since the start of development. We don't know specific plans for Minecraft's future yet, but we do know that everyone involved wants the community to grow and become even more amazing than it's ever been. Stopping players making cool stuff is not in anyone's interest. But that doesn't say anything about what's going to happen to YouTube videos. That doesn't say what's going to happen to open source modding and software and server development. It doesn't say anything about that. And given the fact that about the crackdown on the EULA, as I said in a previous video, my suspicion is that servers will be very tightly controlled by Microsoft and so will modding. So don't count on it. Mark Watson is responsible for Minecraft community support. He tweeted this morning, sold half my stuff, moved to Sweden, got the Microsoft news before I had keys to our new home. It's been an emotional month, but I'm hopeful. Nathan Adams, Dinnerbone, quoting people who are asking him, what does this mean for fill in the blank? He says, I don't know. I really honestly do not know. We have to wait and find out. I do not make the decision. He also wrote, lots of people are asking what this means to me personally. Thank you all for your concern, heart. I will remain at Mojang for now and see how it goes. Lydia Winters, Minecraft chick, says, please be kind to the Mojangsters. The founders made this decision, so we have a lot of emotions going on too. So please don't take it out on, on the people who work at Minecraft. They are not responsible for this. They weren't even informed about it. They made life-changing plans around the status quo and the game staying the way it is and the company staying the way it is, and now everything has changed. Joe Hills tweets, Mo Yang successfully infiltrates Microsoft and the ascension of Skynet is postponed by 15 more years. I'm going to post a link to the articles from Microsoft and Mo Yang. I will try to post a link to Notch's blog, but when he posted his feelings about it, his website crashed, of course. He has also uh, put it in one of those form things, those anonymous form things, so that people have... I told him, y your site is crashed. You're going to have to find an alternate so we can read it. And he did. The bottom line is this. When all that Eula kerfuffle went on, a lot of really, really bad stuff happened. Notch wasn't prepared for the hate that people sent his way. People were threatening his life. Marcus is a small time person who just happened to get lucky with a really good game. It was never his desire to be the head of an enormous mega company. He likes to have fun. If there's one mantra you can see throughout his blog, and his Twitter post, it's that he likes to have fun. And citing that Phil Fry video that I won't link here because of the language involved, about Phil Fry being hated so much where everything he did was under a microscope and scrutinized. It was an excuse to hate him. 
No matter what he said, if he said, I like chocolate ice cream, they'd find a way to make out that, that was, he was a bad person for liking chocolate ice cream and enumerate all the reasons why. Notch has been thinking for quite some time about leaving because it's too big for him to handle. We are too big, the users are too big for him to handle. Even in 2012 at a Minecon convention when he said he didn't want to be owned by corporate interests, that was a, I guess it was whistling in the dark and hoping that it wouldn't get as bad as it got. He is not prepared to deal with the size of Mojang and Minecraft. Now instead of taking money and resources and putting them into finding people who were able to deal with Minecraft and how huge a community phenomenon it has become, instead of taking even that much personal responsibility for it, he has decided to take his ball and go home. We don't know what he's going to do with $2.5 billion. All three founders are taking the money and doing something with it. I know that Marcus has a good heart and I expect that most of that money will be used to good purpose. But he's not prepared to deal with how hard it is to be the spearhead of such a phenomenon. He's leaving Mojang. He doesn't want to be part of it anymore. And he's wanted that for quite some time. So I was right about delaying the Minecon convention. I don't think he even wanted to be part of a convention this year. and. The convention needs to be under Microsoft, not under Mojang. Ugh. But I don't think he wants to be there. Now what do we do? You see, Microsoft didn't buy the game. Microsoft bought us. I'm torn between declaring a full-on boycott of Minecraft and going on with business as usual. My decision personally is to go on with business as usual to go ahead with my plan about my domain, my server, my career, to keep plowing ahead as though nothing had happened, but with my eyes wide open, checking the Twitter feeds, checking the news, checking anything on social media to see what's going to happen. I'm going to continue on with business as usual. Nothing's finalized until the end of this year anyway. It's going to take them months to reorganize and they will probably leave Mojang and Minecraft as it is developing as it does. Microsoft has learned a lot from the model of Mojang. There's nothing like it on the planet. It's one of the reasons I'm so pro Mojang is because it was a creative atmosphere, hands off, no censorship, let people develop what they can when they can. That's why the YouTube stuff took off. They took, they approached that with hands off. Let people develop their gaming channels and do their thing and do their servers the way they want to do it. So Microsoft has learned a lot, but Microsoft has bad habits. I can't imagine Microsoft taking over Minecraft and not putting their hands in it and messing with stuff. And when they start messing with stuff, things are gonna break. We don't know what this means. We don't know what's going to happen. There are a lot of open source people who are doing a lot of remarkable work and there could be an underground Minecraft that's completely open source. We don't know. We don't know. It could be the death of the game and it could be the death of a lot of people's careers and a lot of people's opportunities. Like I spoke about block by block where little kids are learning to use Minecraft to develop community projects, real life community projects in their own countries, in their own towns. They're learning architecture, landscaping, urban planning, that sort of stuff through My Minecraft. It's a project with United Nations. QCraft, which is teaching quantum computing in a partnership with Google, being used in classrooms through Minecraft EDU and elsewhere to teach the basic understandings and concepts of quantum computing. Minecraft EDU itself that brings Minecraft into the classroom. That might be a good thing under Microsoft. It might build it up. It might get the support it needs. They might be able to plow some money into it. As for me, I'm not going to pretend like nothing has changed. I'm going to behave as if nothing fundamentally has changed and that the company and that the game will continue to grow the way they have grown 
before this purchase. But that doesn't mean I've got my eyes shut and it doesn't mean that I'm not prepared for the worst. And we won't know until spring what's going to happen. So the anger and the speculation and the accusations and the bitterness, those won't work right now. They're not going to do anything except divide the community and alienate people further than they already are and make it harder for all of us to do anything productive and constructive. And even though we want answers right now because we're in an instantaneous short attention span sort of world, that's not going to work here. Microsoft is huge. Moyang is huge. The community is huge. It's going to take time for things to move. It's a very, very sad day. When the employees themselves didn't know how this was going to impact their lives personally, videographers who broadcast Minecraft gaming don't know what's going to happen. The biggest and the best of them are saying, thank you to Notch, you changed my life. I think that the anger and the bitterness is because a lot of us sense that this game can change a lot of lives and we're afraid we're not going to get the opportunities that people like Kurt J. Mack, Doc M77 and others got. We're grieving because we don't know where we stand and we won't for at least six months. We won't know. So keep playing, keep building, keep planning, keep growing, keep learning. I'll see you around the interwebs. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Thank you for watching.